helping me celebrate this joyous Easter Sunday is Andrea Williams from Christian Concern, a wonderful charity supporting ambassadors of Christ. Andrea Williams, Christian Concern are all about empowering Christians and you, you do amazing work, but I would like to talk about some of the wins again today because we're celebrating success because it's Easter. Happy Easter, by the way. Thank you, and you. Um, what a wonderful day. It's Easter day, <laughs> hooray. The most joyous day of the year. It is the most joyous day of the year. And you know what I really love is if just more people really knew just how joyful it was. Right, right. Or is rather, we're celebrating it right now. Well, that's, that's, that's the work that you guys do, isn't it? So That's really the heart of it, yes. One of the cases the I love. joy and the hope of it. One of the most recent cases was Mary um, Onua. Yes, and what a woman. Th this is a lady that you helped protect because she just wanted to wear a cross. She just wanted to be a proud Christian in her workplace. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about, first of all, her background and then how you actually helped her? Yes, well, you know, she, she's an absolutely wonderful woman who came, uh, who came to England some 20 or 30 years ago, worked as a nurse in the NHS, loved, loved to wear her cross. This meant so very much to her, as did her faith. It was just something that she held uh, very, very dear indeed, but, and worked happily for two decades in, in the NHS without any trouble at all. But um, in 2015, um, there was a sort of slight change of regime and they asked her to remove her cross. And she said, I simply can't do that. It means uh, too much to me. It's actually part, it's part of, I remember Jesus, I love Jesus. And this is what it means to me. That takes some guts to affirm that strongly and say no to persecution in the workplace. Well, I think the truth is this, you know, the workplace was making massive uh, adjustments for those that wanted to wear the hijab. In fact, we had lots of images, that, phot photographs that showed that uh, uh, people in the, in the NHS Trust there were wearing jewellery. But for her, this was very much an expression of her faith and something that meant so very much to her. And of course, the cross, that's what we're remembering today on Easter Absolutely. Sunday. Uh, the cross, again, for her, that means hope and forgiveness and restoration. And, and of course, which also brought so much joy to many of the um, patients that she was there. She was even interrupted during a, an operation where she was the runner between, uh, the, um, between the, the place where the operation was taking place, the theater, but also then onto the ward. And she was interrupted and told uh, to take off her cross there. So how did you turn it around? How did she get the okay? Um, well, what happened was this, she was put off uh, into behind the scenes duties, into admin duties. She found this very difficult. This actually went on. This is sometimes the thing about our cases at Christian Concern. Remember, Mary Anua is one of literally th a thousand cases every year that we are dealing with at the Christian Legal Center. Christians who get into trouble simply for living and speaking out their well, faith. Well, thank you for fighting the good fight on behalf of these people and thank you for supporting people where you do. You're very welcome.